This is not a war zone. This is my garage where I have been repotting for the past few days that we've been having cloudy days in Mondays. It's Tuesday today and been raining on and off and that's why I thought I really need to repot them and so you can see all the mess that's old soy in that black tub I got potting mix galore different ones and I've actually experimented on using so hang on I'm not advertising the product but I'm just saying that I have been using it for my precious succulents and this is the last of it so and it's actually so this is my master succulent soil mix so it's a shortcut I find to making my master succulent soil mix but whether it works on my succulents I don't know I still have to wait a few months to find out I am rocking the latest fashion look just a plastic bag to go outside because it's raining because the raincoat is quite wide and go whoosh 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 and picks up my plants so I thought I'd just put a plastic bag over myself and my husband said I look like I've got a condom on okay. it's a really funny weather I've been in and out and in and out and every time I come out it starts raining. I go inside and then it stops. A so while ago I was cleaning this area here just admiring my newly potted beautiful jewel. Oh look at that, it's that gorgeous. It's a beautiful big big jewel a lot of you don't like don't like the big ones but anyway because you haven't got the space that's why uh, the big one is not suitable for people with uh, who lives in apartments or areas where there's no garden so I can understand their sentiments but I love all sorts of shapes and forms and sizes yes I was supposed to do a video of something but I forgot because it's raining so I thought I'll just go me under over here and geez this plastic is hot hang on better take it off I'm taking my condoms off okay I am admiring this purple dream oh my goodness that is so beautiful so I'm just starting to clean up this area here because I've got big plants for this spot here so a lot of the plants now needs to be cleaned up and get ready for winter and then that wild horse is just so gorgeous oh my goodness the color and that's a Beni Musumi at the back and there's a wild horse at the front I've heard of people growing lithops for decades so I don't know how long this lithops is gonna survive with me but I have just potted up this Kalankowi humilis tiger spots look at that isn't that beautiful gorgeous in this ice cream truck <laughs> is that ice cream yes it is oh look Oh, I, might, I should have some ice cream but anyway this one's now oh yes I'll show you what I'm having later on this one now I bought a cluster well this is a cluster but this is actually about five plants that I bought well potted up and I bought it and this is what I want to do with it so because it looks very nice in the truck so I've been waiting a long time to find a plant that would suit this pot here or this truck <laughs> ice cream truck and I thought that suited that nicely and anyway this one is apparently Kalankowi humilis is frost hardy I didn't know that so I don't know whether it's gonna survive our frost or not I'm almost tempted to pull one plant out and expose it to the frost this winter but I'm not gonna do that I'm just gonna put the whole pot somewhere in my COVID area now if it dies it dies I'll go buy some more but I did buy one before and it was only in a small pot and I left it outside here but it's not outside but in my protected area and it still died in the frost so maybe this one I'm gonna bring this inside or indoors during winter I have uh, I'm told you it's starting to rain again it's so annoying I've got a cardboard see covering my camera so it doesn't get wet but if it gets really heavy I won't be able to avoid it but anyway my Hoshikagi I already potted it up in one pot so that's my 
beautiful stressed hoshikage on the left with the other not so stressed because they're grown in the 50% UV shade cloth area so you can see the difference of the stressed one that's out in the open full sun full frost full everything and the 50% UV shade cloth area are the lighter colored, colored ones one two three why am I talking so fast because it's raining it's raining on my back I am back to the rafters my whole area is full Full, 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 full. So I have to stop buying succulents. Oh, well, if I could help it, I would stop. But I'm an addict, so I will probably continue buying more succulents. I don't know, but the it's not a problem. If I just let some of them die, then it'll be okay. <laughs> By the way, I don't sell them. <laughs> so, oh, look at them gorgeous ones, or newly potted ones. And anything that's newly potted, since it's been cooped up somewhere kept in the shade I put it in the protected area so okay, I don't know if you can see that so there you go so it's covered up on the rain now anyway so I want to do this video even though it's raining because I might not be able to do some video for a while because I really want to clean up my whole area I gotta clean up my act and because I got more plants coming so <laughs> That's why I need to make space because if not, I have to stop. I have to, uh, that's what I said in my plant hold video, I'm going to go on a diet for a while. Oh, I moved my uh, super bum or super bum over here. That's beautiful coloration. I love it. So these are all leaf grown. Look at that and gorgeous. Oh, by the way, speaking of leaf grown. This is a variegated Luella. I had a variegated Luella before and it died on me, but before it died, I was able to save a few leaves, about four leaves, and three of them has grown, and this is one of them now. Isn't it beautiful? Now this one. So that came from a variegated uh, Luella, and the siblings, so this is in the 50% UV shade cloth area, I kept it protected, and the ones that are more protected so these ones they're all the same plant look at that see the difference of the color but this one okay it's in a small okay that one you look like you are being attacked by mealybug see the center there so i should have a closer look on that one and stay now this one here okay i'm just that one is Okay, still perfect. So maybe I should take this out. And do you have a date as to, oh, the rain's coming on thick and heavy. Uh, no, no date. But anyway, it's old. Okay, dry leaves remove. And I think I better go inside because it's getting heavy. So this one now I'm gonna put you for now here. So to remind myself, to put you in a pretty pot or should I bring you inside to put you in a pretty pot but anyway okay I'm gonna add little bits of other video clips I've got that I didn't get to edit from the previous days so this video is gonna be a little bit of a mishmash but I'm sure you're all gonna enjoy it well hopefully I hope <laughs> because I do enjoy just sometimes going around in the garden and I can't put the thought together to make one video or look more more potted up uh, babies and now see this is where my Oshikagi was now I have to replace that with something uh, from this lot here anyway guys the rain's getting coming thick and heavy okay should I put this one this is a Sempervivum, but not colored, but I love the texture. What's your name? You are some sort of Neptune. Yes, you are Neptune. There you go. So anyway, I just like the texture. It's beautiful. Camera's wet. Anyway, it's getting heavy. It's getting heavy. Time to go inside. Or I think I should put this back and I'm going to put them all in one pot. Okay, guys, okay, come back here. Go back there. <laughs> Just gonna throw them around. And look, they need watering again, they're thirsty. Even though it's raining, they're not getting wet, so I think I better take this out, put this out here, so they can get watered. Even this ones, oh my goodness. Ah! Okay, short and sweet, but 
enjoy the rest of the video clips. But a very uh, purple star has got some funky stems growing here. The whole stem before yesterday was full of leaves that I harvested. So those ones, I'm just hoping that that will grow into a plant and not a death bloom. So when I say death bloom, when they flower or if this thing turns into a flower and they bloom to form seeds basically, you can plant the seed and you're going to end up with a lot more. Now this one here, the stem here, looks like not a flowering stem but more of another plant. So this is the nature of the plant. So you have the major plant and it had babies or the stem forming the side or lateral stem and forming new plant, maybe new plant or flower heads. Blue moon. <laughs> oh yes, so beautiful in it. But the reason why I'm here because I want to show you an almost dead plant. Now this one is called Bifida, uh, silver something. Hang on, let me see. Echeveria Bifida variety metallica. That's what the name is, okay? Very long name. Doesn't look very healthy. Now, I find that this plant is very temperamental to grow because the reason why I got this one a few months ago is because of one that has grown so beautifully look this thing has got like a metallic sheen look at that oh beautiful isn't it gorgeous look at the leaves it's just gorgeous 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 plant but i have a problem with this plant look for no apparent reason just decided to drop its leaves nothing at all and it's been growing here since 2021. This was given to me by Bifida, May 2021, my friend Kanya. Anyway, when she gave this to me, she said you want it because it is covered with mealybug and it's almost dead and it was tiny. So see the center there? That's how big it was, like a few leaves <laughs> like that. So I cleaned it up. So just the top, like the top tip of it, that's what it looks like. And then now, after how many years is that? It grew beautifully. Like last week, it was all perfect. And then I look at it and was like, ha, oh, look at you, gorgeous. And then <laughs> the next day I walk past, all the leaves have fallen off. But to me, it's not really a disaster because I believe they will grow more beef feeder so that's my beef with this plant anyway see how shiny very metallic isn't it beautiful 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 plant i've given in i saw uh online all these photos or videos of people showing uh well some people showing leaf propagation on a string so <laughs> look at that exotic the 10th of march leaf props so these are actually like the death bloom <laughs> so it was flowering so this exotic here which is another hybrid of Lawi and Rognoni I think but anyway so this one is not a death bloom look at that see you can see the Rognoni I topsy-turvy look on this one isn't it yeah, but this is a flower stalk. So now you can say that this is a death bloom because it came from this, I would call this plant now a mother plant in the center and giving birth to, <laughs> to this big stalk, it's dead. Well, it's dying, not quite. Hang on, see, look in there. Can you see some babies growing? See, there's a baby in the center there. So do you call that a death bloom? No, it's not. It's just a natural way for the plant to grow. Now this one, ooh, I am liking this one. You know why? Look at the shape. That is some funky, funky uh, champagne line. So which means, which, which tells me that there's a possibility that this one will grow into a monstrous form. So I'm going to collect all the leaves. Look at that which means they are going to go fancy like this one. So it's gonna be like a big topsy-turvy exotic 
that's what's gonna happen so anyway harvest harvest and also I might actually when I haven't got a camera on one hand oops I'm just gonna shake it okay shake it look <gasps> managed to do it even without now uh, growing them okay I just hope that my uh, blue tongue lizard doesn't crawl all over this pot again so I'm just gonna drop them there but the side way the right way up side way up anyway there you go so we go this one even though it's broken that could still grow so it never give up until all hope is gone <laughs> there you go and my tummy is grumbling because I'm hungry anyway guys that one now I think I better go inside and have something to eat and also I can clean up do my washing edit videos uh, do all those things that normal people do <laughs> because hubby's down the coast okay now this one okay oh I beat it there you go drop it there so it can dry up and then I'm gonna come back come back in a few days time and pop that up so anyway that's all I've got for this video guys and that one with the baby do not touch the baby we leave that one or else okay that is going to kill the baby but that one now oh I like this hope you all go monstros now that's it now this one I clean it up and I'm gonna have dinner oh look that one please do monstros I love monstrous foam a friend of mine came for a visit and look what she brought me she got me some gulab jamun and I am going to have them with frozen custard I already had for your convenience <laughs> anyway um, I don't know how, how I'm I don't know how many I'm supposed to eat but <laughs> I've been eating or taking <laughs> three of them I'm so naughty and <laughs> look I only got three left and she gave this to me two days ago there you go so yesterday I've been enjoying it a lot and now I'm gonna enjoy it some more now what I'm gonna do is pop this in the microwave for like 30 seconds oh now it's nice and hot and all the ghee has come out of it so that's the little fat or a lot of fat <laughs> trying to eat healthy you know so what I like to do is drain the ghee oh my goodness Pedro no go away the budge is trying to look do you want some look at you hey okay go, go away Pedro hang on so now that is still like hot 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 and what I'm gonna do is we are going to scoop up some frozen custard there you go so frozen custard doesn't really freeze very well it freeze but I have to stab it with a knife there you go so hang on scoop it up scoop it up so oh, look at that uh-huh so just enough to melt it and I'm gonna have this with coffee look at that I'm such a bad girl okay now mm, look at all the ghee mm. so the budge is talking again you want some Pedro? mom is great he said okay come here you want some? now oh what I do, oh look, oh my goodness, I don't know if you can see that, but mmm, 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 so good. All the spices is coming through, it's beautiful. Now I'll finish this and then well, I'll go outside, baby P. Hey, okay. okay. Mm. Come on, come on. My God. Eat your custard. It's 
spoiled bread. I have to hold it for him or else he wouldn't eat it. Yum? Okay, mommy's gonna watch footy now, baby P. It's Raiders versus the Knights. <laughs> okay, Pedro, that's enough. <laughs> enough, baby P. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go.